Would you believe me if I told you this is a replay in Microsoft Flight Simulator? You should, because I can't land a plane like this while getting these kinds of angles. Stay tuned to hear about Flight Control Replay for Microsoft Flight Sim in this FSLE First Look. Flight Control Replay is a utility that does just as the name makes it sound. It allows you to record a detailed replay of your flight, even including things in the replay like your landing gear position and other control surfaces like flaps, ailerons, rudder, and elevator positions. The install was simple, and the 19-page user guide gets you going without any issues. Within this guide, it also spells out the current limitations with reference to Microsoft's SDK for this simulator. It's not all here yet, but it works. It brings, even in this early state, a replay functionality to Microsoft Flight Simulator that, in my opinion, beats what I've seen by default P3D or FSX replays. The controllability of the replay through Flight Control Replay reminds me that of default X-Plane in that you have media controls to stop, play, forward, and rewind with a record button thrown in. It goes further and includes a feature called Relive. This is actually how most of this video was recorded and what it does is allows you to say take off and once comfortably in the air you're able to scrub back to before the takeoff to watch it in replay form from say the outside of the aircraft this time. And then once you're done, return back to the cockpit and continue the flight from where the replay was started. This is one of those things that I personally missed from the other simulators after Microsoft and Azobo came out with this one. Having a replay is nice for more than one reason. Maybe you want to grab the perfect shot to share on social media or try and improve by debriefing your maneuvers by watching them from different angles that couldn't be achieved otherwise. Maybe you just like watching your own landings from the external view. In either case, this is one of those products that I think we will see develop as the Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK develops. Though it's good now, I only see it, like this simulator, getting better with time. You're seeing closed beta 1 of Flight Control Replay with the dev letting me know that it just went into closed beta 2 with plans to support VR. For 15 euros plus VAT, keep an eye on Sim Market and of course the FS Elite site for its release. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick first look at Flight Control Replay for Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you didn't enjoy it, you can use the thumbs down button, but if you did enjoy it and want to see more, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss another FS Elite upload. Your feedback is always welcome in the comments section below. And as always, this was Ronnie. Thanks for watching, and until next time.